Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to unbox the new MSFET GTS and we will see what we have in the box and what we have in the software and the tests as well. So as you can see in the package we have a couple of information here starting from AMOLED display, water resistant and other stuff. So that was the first page at the back we have more information like 500 mAh and we have Bluetooth 5.0, Android 4, 5.0 and above, also iOS 10.0 and above. These are the specs that uh, the GTS supports. So we have two more straps for the GTS, as you can see, blue and red. The black one are already in the box or strapped up with the watch. So we know that in, in the MSV GTS we have 1.65 inch AMOLED touchscreen with Gorilla Glass 3 plus anti-fingerprint coating. The watch itself is very light made by plastic and comfortable bands from rubber. And also in the GTS we have sensors like ambient light sensor, air pressure, genomagenetic, acceleration sensor, bio tracker, etc. The battery in the GTS is made from lithium and it's holding 220 million power and in daily use that will last 14 days with GPS in it it will last 25 hours which is very impressive and in basic mode it will last 46 days so as you can see in the package we have the watch itself and also underneath here we have the user manual you can see in different languages which is always as I say very helpful so everyone could buy or use this uh, watch you can see very small and very thick user manual, good quality and the book as well as expected from the MSFET. And the other side we have the charger for the GTS, you can see all the things are wrapped up for protection which is a good thing. You can see the charger is made from rubber material, very good and very durable. So this is what we have inside of the GTS. So let's peel this off and start the GTS, see what we got in the software. You can see we have to connect it first, which we will see in the next video how to connect. As you can see now the GTS is already powered on. You can see we can change the faces of the GTS just by pressing it and holding it. Also we have plenty of faces in the app which we will see as I said in the next video when we connect it with iOS and Android as well. You can see in the, the in this in these uh, watch faces we have weather, we have time, date, percentage of battery, all kinds of information that are necessary and I like for myself very much. In the left we have the heart rate. Next we have the status. Up we have the toss bar with date, time, percentage of battery, we have some shortcuts for torch, do not disturb, brightness and lock screen. Down we have status, PAI and hard rate. We can see these statistic in the GTS. We will try hard rate later. After hard rate we have workout. In workout we have outdoor running, walking, tri treadmill, indoor cycling, open water, pool swim, elliptical, climbing, etc. So we, the GTS is very good at sports, we have activities, we have weather, music control, alarm, event reminder, more. We can set an event or an alarm. Here in more we have compass, which we have to calibrate. So you don't go like this, but you have to go like you are wearing it. This is important part. So many people I saw that didn't know how to calibrate the GTS and it's necessary to mention it. So you can see the, the compass works. We have next the timer and we have countdown. Also the find mobile, which is a good thing, thing to have. In the settings we have watch face that we saw in the beginning how to change, we have screen off, as you can see the seconds, so it tells you if you do 15 seconds it will take more battery, we have after that the press and hold option, you can see we are selected at the workout, this is by default, 
Next we have always on display. You can see we have uh, two option digital or the other one which are both of them are pretty good. So this is the software of the GTS. Let's go ahead and do some tests because we saw the things that we can test here. You can see we have the hard rate first and we have a very good amount of things that we can see here is starting from the last hard rate the current hard rate and we have the statistic down below which is a very good thing because we don't see this so often this was the hard rate you saw the results let's go to the uh, workout let's try one of these or the first one maybe is better outdoor running is one of the apps that everyone use you can see the gps is positioning right now you can see down below it says gps positioning and as soon as it's ready we can press go you can see the seconds now starting the time at the top distance pace and the heart rate gps now now is available and after that we have the second page average pace total assigning and total disassigning and the third page we will find sadness stride length and consumption or burn calories and these are all the options so three pages in total for the sport edition which is a very impressive thing to have in your smartwatch we have a few options that personally i wouldn't mind if i had but it's good to know that you have the option to see in your watch and all these options will be saved in the app so you can uh, monitor yourself later. So I don't think we have anything else to test here. Press and hold to pause or go out of the sport mode. And guys, this was all for today's video. I hope you find this video interesting and helpful. If so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we will see you in the next video with another smartwatch.